What's going on everybody? DJ Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to New Woodshire here on Farming Simulator 19. We have gotten all of our fields done. They're done. They're they're done. I said it three times. Everything is gone. All the wheat, the oats, the barley, everything is gone. It's been harvested. It has been sold. And we have well over a million liters of straw right now. We don't need straw probably ever again. So we've got $745,000 to play with. And I think part of that needs to go towards a new planter. Now, I want to be able to do corn and stuff like that. However, I don't want to have to do all the planting stuff. I just want it to work. I want it to be a direct drill and be good. So we've got this guy right here. We've got the Great Plains. Uh, this is a 12 meter. Now I do have one that goes a little bit faster. This guy right here. So I thought about this. So this goes, what, 13 miles per hour. And that's great. But we have a lack of John Deere on the farm. And so this comes up. And I'm seeing this going, huh. DB60. It's a 18 meter. Seed and fertilizer. This might be the one right here. This may be it. 7,067 liters of seed and fertilizer together as well. I assume this does liquid fertilizer, which is nice. Couple different, uh, couple different configurations here. Of course, I think this is the version we would go with. The only thing is it's quite expensive. So we've really got to make it worth our while. And I think it is. I think it is completely. So we're going to buy it. 232 grand. There you go. You need 250 horsepower to pull this guy, so not a hurry, not a crazy lot, but you need some. And we need a corn header for it. We need the biggest corn header that we could possibly find. Not a tribine header. Let's go backwards a little bit. So the Capel Quasar, this guy right here, this would be a fantastic header to go with it. Now, of course, we've got the Massey, so ooh, that is Case. There we go. So we could go with a bright red header and be good to go there. See, so actually, what is the color? I don't think that's case color. I don't think that's massy. Of course, we could always go with something like this, a black header. Ooh, that would look good. But I think the massy is going to win it over. So now we've got our corn planter. We've got our corn header. What else do we need? Well, we, <laughs> we need grass, too. We need grass real bad, to be honest with you guys. And... Uh, and I'm just, I'm looking at everything that we've got. And I'm seeing, and I don't think this case really has a place on this farm anymore. It's just not big enough. It's not big enough. And I don't think we need more than this many tractors, but I also don't want to sell it. So I'm going to look at new tractors. We need something. I'm not going small. There's no reason to go with a small tractor. I think something big, something like the, the T7, possibly a T8. I have not rocked and rolled with a T8 in a while. The only thing is, our big Valtra, I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, if that makes any sense. So this guy right here, 400 horsepower, $317,000. It's a good buy right there. It's a very good buy. So we've got Fence and New Hollands and Masseys. And, so we already have a Massey on the farm. We don't have a Fen on the farm. We don't have a New Holland. We actually don't have anything New Holland. So those are our choices right now. Would be a Fen or a New Holland. I'm going to go through. I'm also going to look at some other stuff as well. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, get some John Deere, get some John Deere. Get a bigger case, get a Magnum. I'm happy with what we've got right now. I'm going to keep this for now because the plan is to extend the farm and also, when I do Let's Plays like this, I don't like taking the tractors that I've got and, well, getting rid of them, more or less. He doesn't get to park there anymore. But we're going to go get another one. Well, I've spent pretty much every penny that I had. However, are you ready to see what we got? I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. We got a case telehandler, baby. Yeah, yeah. And we got a bucket that's not cheaty. It's a little cheaty, but not too bad. I got the New Holland T8. This has got the base engine in it, but this is the new model that was just released with the new color and the black rims. Oh, y'all, that thing is sweet and it is looking fine. Man, oh man. 
I am so excited <laughs> to just start farming, dude. I am super excited. So we've got all that manure over there. That is why we've got the telehandler. Legit, just... Ooh, that beep is going to get on my nerves. Uh, legit, just to move manure and that kind of thing. We needed something. But I don't need it right now, so we're going to get it kind of put away. Not right in here. Should be just fine. There we go. Drop that there. Now, we do need a tether. I just realized that. I still don't have a tether. <laughs> Oops. Now, which one of our planter-cedar combination needs more power? So, we've got 270 horsepower required there, 250 required here. So, guess what? New Holland, meet John Deere. Oh, yeah. Let's load it up, hook it, ready to go. So, we need seed and liquid fertilizer, which is a bit of a problem because I don't have any liquid fertilizer spots. I don't have anywhere to buy it, to, to have it, to, to be. I got nothing. Seeds, so we'll at least fill that up with seed. There we go. That's good. Close that. And then we just need liquid fertilizer now. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, this is not good. Go straight, go straight, go straight. I don't know if this guy will handle a tank. Hmm. Think this will hold handle a tank? Could get a tanker and fill it up with liquid fertilizer. I think maybe for now we might try and just cheat it in and see how much it takes and then we'll delete that much money. I think, you know what? I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go in here. Fill unit, liquid fertilizer, fill that up. So it's taking 3,544 liters, at least for right now. Now, what are we doing in here? Let's see, fertilizer, let's see, 3,200 for 2,000 liters. Seems like a bit much. Fertilizer tank here, 3,000 for 288. So, I'd say a dollar, dollar per, per liter. So, we'll just take out 3,500 bucks. How's about that? We'll go into the easy dev, minus 3,500 bucks. I think for right now, that's going to be good. I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm cool with it. It is what it is. So let's figure out what is what, how's how, when's when, what's going where. So I think 35, this is going to be our Vermontism <clears throat> grass. Uh, and then <laughs> and then I think we do corn maybe? We do like corn in like 18 and 20, sunflowers in 31, 32. I, I hate Phil 33 with a passion, but it has to exist. I thought about just planting grass in it and being done with it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see, but... I think for now, see, we're set on corn. That's fine with me. As a matter of fact, yes, yes, yes. Corn in this one, corn in our field next to us. So let's do that. Let's open this guy up. Now, if you are curious, yes, this uh, this mod is PC only, unfortunately. It's one of the better ones. I mean, honestly, this is a very good looking mod right here, but it is PC only. Just keep that in mind. There's there's quite a few things that I'll be using in this. I mentioned before that a lot of the things that I use in my personal Let's Plays and just having fun are uh, all platforms, but this one in particular is a PC only mod. So hit lower. Lower. There we go. Turn it on. Drive forward just a little bit, nine miles an hour. That's going to be the Stinkowitz part of this mod right here. And then I'm going to hit this front headland right here. I don't know actually how much. I think this will be okay. Yeah, that, that may have actually been too much. We'll hit this. I'm just going to go straight across. This will fast farm, but <laughs> not real well. Let's keep it down. Drop it. Turn that cruise control on. Rocking at nine miles per hour. But at 18 meters, so I'm not crazy upset about it. So let's continue along. We're going to do this. I'm going to hit this bottom headland and uh, and then just set dude on a worker and let him rock, get his party on, just like so. I am going to set it on the other side of the field. Do keep in mind that this guy is a bit large, and especially for the fields that we've got, uh, you want to find your edges and let them do the edges. So... Two fields of corn, two fields of uh, sunflowers, one field of grass, and one field of Herman grass. <clears throat> yep, let's get the other stuff done. Back in our Valtra, and this guy will get some work done. I'll tell you guys my game plan for the other tractors. So the, or the JCB really is not good for anything right now. 
the, well, other than fertilizing. The case definitely is not good for anything that we're doing right now. We're, we're expanding the farm. We're, we're going bigger. And I know that we need to expand our fertilizing options and areas, that kind of thing. Let's see. Let's set this on for Herman Grass. There we go. Pull this right here. Helper B has completed their task. Why do I not believe that? Probably because they haven't. You're not done. <laughs> You've still got like four fields to go, buddy. Get your work done, man. Come on. This is another thing is the workers, unless you're right on it, the workers are just completely idiotic and don't even know what they're doing. All right. We need seed. I need fertilizer and I also need to get this thing lined up correctly. So for Herman Grass going in our big field, we've got seeds. We've got, for some reason, fertilizer, which purchases towards like the back of this thing there we go and close it up the game plan for this because we are running low on money thirty six thousand dollars is all we've got right now my game plan for this is going to be to try to sell the vermhinsgrass sell that crop and of course sell the other crops as well like i said we need hay so we're going to have to get hay. We may do for Herman grass on both of these, but I think I'm just going to plant this as grass and be done with it. Could sell that field. I know I said I wanted to buy all these fields, but that's a dumb field. <laughs> I may sell it. What do you guys think about that? That is a uh, 100% a plausible option. I'm going to look into that option and see if that's something that we could do. Let's go ahead and hire this worker just for a hot minute. Uh, what's our price on this field right here? $117,000. Is it worth it? Maybe. The thing is, I'm worried about getting anything on this field and not being able to collect it. But it's the size of it and the shape is just so annoying and confusing. Really am, and displeased with, with that field in particular. We could join it with some fields. It's always an option. Hmm. We'll figure it out. Let's fire this guy. Let him rock. And, oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. There you go. What I'm going to do is we're going to run straight down this side. Um, kind of hitting our headlands, but letting the worker hit the headlands. So we've set the top part. That's great. We're going to set this part. And then I'm just going to skip and finish this part. And then as soon as we get to here, I'm just going to hire that worker. So they can do their thing going back and forth. Looks like Helper J has finally figured out how to do work. So that's good, even though they're missing a few little bits back down there. So corn, corn, sunflowers, sunflowers, meh. While we're waiting on everybody to do their thing and finish up, I'm going to go ahead and grab our corn header and bring it over here. And I'm also, let's go ahead and turn that around. That's not good. Boom. We're also going to go ahead and get some of this manure up. Now, most of you guys know I don't use manure or slurry or digestate as a, um, as a form of fertilizer. I feel like I can just sell it, make enough money to where it, it makes it a little bit easier. Because as far as I've been able to tell, you use a whole lot more manure in a space than you do of um, stuff or like a fertilizer. Uh, funny enough, interestingly, let me know if you guys like this. I thought of it, don't tell nobody because I want to do this. I want to see what is the best way to fertilize a field. Is it using um, slurry? Is it using digesta? Is it using normal fertilizer like, like I use? Is it something else? Is it a worker who misses half of a field? And, and on top of that, what crops are the best? So I'm thinking about doing some type of testing series. If you guys want to see a testing series, let me know. I am all for a good testing series. So um, maybe be this week. The thing about testing is they take forever. Like a, a, a testing series that, that is into it and legitimate will take hours to do one video. So I just want to make sure that's something that you guys would want to see. What's the benefits of using solid fertilizer versus liquid fertilizer versus slurry and digestate and manure to fertilize a field? Um, let me know. I am... I'm down. Just need to know if you guys are down. Also, let me know if you like this tractor or not. It's different, and so I think it's going to take some getting used to. I'm not on it 100%, to be fair, um, but I do dig it, and so there is that. So, funny enough, look at this. So the liquid fertilizer, if we were spraying, would probably be pretty close to being empty right now. However, 
in here, it's nowhere close. We've barely used any. We've actually used more seed than we have liquid fertilizer, which I find fascinating. That is really cool. There we go. All right. Well, that's that. Um, there is one thing that I'm going to do to change up how I do field 20. Yep, that's the one. So we're going to come down. I'm actually going to hit a headland at the bottom because this guy I foresee doing some pretty interesting things. I'm just going to use a worker to do this. There we go. Drop it down. I think that's all the way. No, we're not going to use a worker for this. This worker's not doing what I want him to do. We're going to brack this guy right here. I'm going to do this because I'm a little bit concerned that this thing's not going to be able to turn around here at the bottom. And I want him to be able to turn around at the bottom. Hey, it looks like our other worker's doing a fantastic job getting the uh, Verherman grass together. That's good. Um, but I know a lot of you guys that also mentioned cotton. Don't worry. We're going to be getting to cotton. But keep in mind, this is, a, this is a, a personal let's play. This is a, you know, I'm playing to play the game. Uh, I am basically, think about it like this. If you guys were playing along at home, that kind of thing, um, how would you progress? You would, you would work the fields as much as you could sell you know things that you aren't using sell all the crops immediately or or at least when you get a good price we've been fortunate where we've got multiple selling points so we get great prices regardless um and uh and build up your inventory i mean what was it just two weeks ago we started this series and and we had oh, come on dummy did you miss any nope good job um it was just two weeks ago when we started this series and look where we are now we are rocking and rolling, having a ball. I am extremely fortunate and very happy with the way things are going here on New Woodshire. Now that we got Dumb and Dumber out doing what they're doing, uh, actually, they're almost done. I've had a little bit of time since the last clip. I am going to go ahead and take a little bit of time to get this manure out. We've got, uh, I don't know how much it says we have, but I know we don't have that much. 56,000, yeah, right. I, I will be surprised if we have even half that much. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll probably have half that much. Also, I'm getting used to, ooh, that is moving. Uh, I am getting used to the um, the beepy sound. Funny enough, I think I actually like the beepy sound. So I'm cool with that. Let's go and get this dumped. So we need to bring this up just to, oh no, to put it on the ground. Now nah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Bring it back. Uh, one cool thing about this thing is it flies up and it is high as well. Look at that. This thing will go just about anywhere. I think it's modeled similarly after, um, I can't remember which model it is. Oh, it's the, um, the Klaassen game. It is like up there big time. So if you guys are looking for a telehandler and you're like, I'm not really sure which one to get, get this, get the case because the case is going to do everything that you want to do and more. Actually, we just said I had a worker, okay, this guy. No, stupid idiot. What are you doing? Good. This is not your field. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> All right, worker. So now I've got to go fix that field. Is that what I'm, I'm being told right now? Yep, this, at least it was just a, a little part, but come on, man. Ugh, it's like ESPNs, come on, man. Just gotta get it, rapple. Do that, just gonna fast farm through it, go through, goodness. You'd have thought he'd just stay in his own field, do his thing, and quit being a moron, but uh, that is not happening. There we go, all right, we're good there. Let's go and get that turned off. I'm gonna get this swapped over to a grass, and that is going to be what we put over here. I, you know what, we could do Verherman grass over here as well, because we could take that. You know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. Verherman grass is in right here. Just set a worker and find out what happens. <laughs> I'll come and clean up after him. There we go. So we've got that. This guy says he's done. He's got plenty of spots. Here I was trying to get the manure up and. Well, that's just not gonna happen, is it? Well, back to it, I suppose. And with that, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed and had fun. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Make sure you join the GoHandFam as well. Turn your notification bells on so that you never 
miss a video here on the channel. If you guys watch this day of, we've got a cool live stream coming up very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. Uh, if not, well, check out the channel. Maybe it's up live already. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.